coming to you from an undisclosed secret location. We're going to learn how to use the ESOB crossbow CNC plasma cutter and you'll see just how easy it is to use this device to cut out and replicate cutouts from plate steel. Okay, so at this point we'll reach around to the back left of our ESOB PowerCut 900 and we'll turn the unit on with the red switch. ESOB will power up. We're going to use some of the built-in libraries for this. So first thing that we will do is we will need to get to the libraries to see what's available. So we'll press function key F6. We'll get to our libraries. You'll use your arrow keys to go through the different things that are built in. So for this example, we're going to do a simple circle. And then when we find what we want, we'll press the enter key on it. And that'll bring it up. And then you'll note that it has a default radius of 5 inches. And depending on what you pick, obviously, you'll need to change some of the settings around. Um, what we're going to do is we'll change it to 3. But we'll take the lead in and Salida as defaults. And so we'll just kind of take those there like so. When you're totally done, press enter afterwards. And then we'll actually um, hit um, F6 to kind of apply those changes. And you'll notice it says apply right there. And then what we'll do is we'll hit escape and we'll go back to the main menu. And then we'll bring on the, we'll bring on the motor control and we'll press F3 to edit. And that will bring up the CNC code, which will control where the actual head moves with the plasma cutter. We'll hit F3 again to save. <coughs> this will give us an opportunity to name the internal file we're saving. It has a .nc for numeric control extension. I'm going to hit the shift key and I'm going to do a J and I'm going to hit a shift key and I'm going to do an R for JR. We'll say JR01.nc. Then we'll hit F3 to save it again. We'll hit our escape button one more time. Goes back to the main screen. F1 for auto mode and it says auto right there. And then we'll see our lovely drawing appear here in a minute. And then we'll say F4 preview cut points. And then we see our entry point where the cut's going to begin, where it's going to cut around. All right, and then actually it's going to come back out on that edge right there when it's done. And then we'll go to F6 for more. All right, let's see here. Auto mode, preview cut points, and then preview. Sorry. Hit F4 one more time, and then we'll do F6 for more. Then we can go to F1 outline mode. And it's going to outline a complete square of where the unit's going to be cutting. So you can actually see the head of the plasma cutter at this point. And it's outlining a square box that's going to be cut. Basically, the inside is what's going to be cut out. But that's the operational area that will be in question. That's outline mode. Then what we're going to do after we do that, we will go to F1 outline and tell it to peer step, start from here. We'll press enter. And then we will go to X for dry run, enable dry run because we don't want to engage the plasma cutter at this point. And then we'll go to F4 preview. If I can get that to work. F4 preview and then we'll hit our green button right here and at this point it's actually doing the cuts as if it the plasma cutter was on as it was actually doing its work so you see exactly how it's going to cut if it's shaking if it's stuttering if it's doing anything kind of crazy this is your time to be watching to see what's going on because it's the next step you're actually going to turn on the plasma cutter and you'll see you know it cutting out the metal Alright folks, on your plasma cutter, you need to do a couple of different things. You need to make sure you have a good ground attached to your metal. Good solid ground. There's two wires. There's a thin one, there's a thick one. There's a thick one coming from the plasma cutter. There's a thin one that's actually coming from the crossbow. This is an ESOB PowerCut 900. It supports remote start, which you have to have um, to get the crossbow to work. 
you want this switch in the down position, you want to have your air pressure on. You'll need at least 40 to 50, preferably more PSI at the back of the plasma cutter. Your amps need to be no higher than the tips you're using in the plasma cutter itself. We have a 60 amp tip in the plasma cutter. I've got it at about 49 amps. That'll be fine for the thickness of the metal we're using. Go ahead and turn the unit on. Make sure you have air pressure. Adjust your air pressure and your amps accordingly with your dials. All right, but make sure this is in the down position so it's in remote start and you'll be ready to go. Happy days. We have this turned on. We're ready to make a cut at this point. So now we'll go back to the crossbow. All right, so we have our plasma cutter on. We have our helmet on. We have the machine in the on position. If you have an emergency, you hit the big red emergency stop button. We're going to hit the X and take dry run off. And at this point, we'll be ready to do our thing with our um, starter cut. Well, folks, I think that shows you how easy it is to use some of the built-in um, libraries with the um, ESOB crossbow CNC plasma cutter. If you're looking for more information and you want to use open source software to do your own drawings where you can actually use a USB port to get really creative with the ESOB crossbow, I would recommend you go to lulu.com and get the wonderful book, Crossbow CNC with Open Source Software and FastCam by Browning and McKeithen, um, very reasonably priced and this gives you all kinds of information where you can get free software to really make the ESOB crossbow rock and roll. Have a great day.